Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Our new topic is Maternal Obstetrical Emergencies. The first emergency including uterine rupture, which can be caused due to pregnancy-related problems or labor-related. Pregnancy-related includes uterine anomaly, which can be genetic or acquired. The genetic including the bifurcate uterus or uterine septa. The acquired one is fibroids of the uterus. Whenever we remove such fibroids, this leads to weakness of the uterus, which can easily uh, lead to rupture upon gestation or upon labor stages of um, of that of that mother. Similarly, previous C-section or other previous uterine surgeries also result in weakness of such uterus. Labor-related problems includes high parity, macrosomic babies, which can be due to diabetic mothers, and placenta percreta, in which the placenta originates up to the myometrium and even the perimetrium. Another condition known as extracephalic version, when which whenever there is a breach presentation, external pressure, external force is applied in such a way in order to um, push the baby's head position into the vertex position in order to deliver it vaginally. So, whenever uterine rupture occurs, pro uh, following are the presenting symptoms: they increase the amount of abdominal pain as well as vaginal bleeding and even hematuria. Diagnosis of such condition is seen on fetal CTG, which shows deceleration and even contraction stops. Ultrasound shows fluid accumulation in the abdomen, which shows that there is a large amount of blood due to rupture of the um, uterine vessels, and the mother goes into shock from the increased amount of blood loss. The treatment of such a case is immediate resuscitation, immediate laparotomy to deliver the baby and hysterectomy. We remove the uterus and ligate all the arteries present. Now another problem is uterine inversion. Now the cause is basically pulling upon the umbilical cord before the placenta is separated. Now the fundal placenta it is uh, actually present on the fundus side. As you know, the uterus is divided into a body and a fundus and the cervix. So if it is present fundally, if we pull upon it, there would be uterine inversion. And, sons, uh, and along that, if the umbilical cord is short or it is morbidly adherent placenta being present. Now, how do we diagnose it? We diagnose it by abdominal examination. Whenever the baby is delivered, there is backward push and uh, uh, the uterus forms into an hourglass like appearance and it, and it is felt like a dimple at the umbilicus level so if it is not felt that way so that means that the uterus has uh, the uterus is obviously coming out of the introitus and by doing a speculum examination we can see it at the introitus and symptoms at that time of the mother includes shock which is due to vasovagal stimulation now how do we treat such a patient we do it by resuscitation by the abc protocol and we do not remove the placenta if it is attached as bleeding will increase and we replace the uterus through the cervix by compression and if it is not done that way we apply a hydrostatic pressure by pouring saline into the vagina we use tocolytics that relaxes the cervical limb and if the above mentioned uh, methods fail we do a reapposition of the uterus by surgery and uterine contraction by oxytocins. Another problem that can occur in a woman is amniotic fluid embolism. That is, amniotic fluid enters the maternal circulation, resulting in CVS collapse and or disseminated intravascular coagulation that results in immediate death. So normally this is not uh, understood at that time. So in postmortem finding, we can find fetal cells in the maternal circulation that would reduce such a death. Symptoms before collapse include breathlessness, feeling cold, nausea, vomiting, lightheadedness. Another disorder is hypertensive disorder. This is defined as BP more than 140 by 90 on more than two occasions without protein urea. Mild BP is measured up to 130 to 139 by diastolic pressure of 90 to 99. Uh, the treatment of such disorder is conservatively in moderate 
which is uh, which ranges between 140 to 149 and diastolic being 100 to 110 we um, pro, uh, we advise the mother to take lots of bed rest we give the, her labetalol and observation is only needed in severe cases when the systolic pressure is 150 to 159 and diastolic is 140 to 149 we immediately admit the patient we give IV labetalol and hydralazine